I built an outfeed table to complement my table saw. This table has no fixed orientation. It serves as a mobile island with storage on both sides. Whether to make the tabletop into MFT style is something I have yet to decide. As of now, it serves as an extension to the table saw, as well as another worktop that everyone can use. In future, it will be pushed around the workshop regularly as a sturdy and reliable countertop, and the contents in the drawers can be readily accessed from both sides of the table. Once I expand my workshop size, this table should end up in the middle of a certain workspace. For this build, I decided not to use the black colored plastic end caps for aesthetic purpose. Therefore, you get to see all these additional efforts. In this build, I will be required to tap the ends of the profile to accept the aluminum end caps. This added a slight amount of complexity to the build, but you will soon understand that it is all worth it. To precisely assemble aluminum profiles, alignment is the key. Over here, I will show you the simplest method to get the corners to line up. All the parts used for this project is measurement specific, and everything is meant to line up square and plumb. Therefore it is important to get every joint correctly done. If precision is lost here, it will compound during the build and translate into issues during the drawer build. Here is another joint, from a different angle. Do it once, do it right. A correctly well aligned joint should look like this, with nothing sticking out from all sides.
At this point, you should have noticed I am building the table from the top down. It's easier to work in this sequence, upside down, and eventually end up with the casters before flipping it right side up. All the fasteners and joinery are already pre-planned and pre-slotted into the profiles, ready for the six pieces of vertical legs. This method is used to ensure that the legs sit flushed with the table corners. Of course, tightening down the grub screws will also require a proper sequence so as to not pull things out of alignment. After that, all I need to do is to check through that everything is neat and tidy, square and plumb, every joint is cleanly flushed. I am using the same casters as my previous projects. These casters can extend out leveling feet when required, which is important for the uneven concrete floors of my workshop. Here, I am temporarily mounting up the arms that the drawer slides will mount onto. It is just to keep things square for now. Later on, I will still have to adjust the height of these arms to match the drawers. With the table right side up now, I can start fixing up all the arms holding the drawer slides. The arms in the middle are more tricky. It has to be completely parallel to the arms on the sides because all the drawers will have to share the same arms in the middle. The middle arms are held up by clamping up to the straight edges. This way, the whole plane is going to be at the same exact height. This will make the drawers align well later on. The process is repeated for the rest of the arms, to provide for 12 drawers within this table.
all the extra efforts that I have put into ensuring alignment, took quite an amount of time. I mean, quite a lot of extra time. But I can tell you, none of these time has been wasted. Somehow, I went short of a piece, and I had to get back to the miter saw to get it done. Off camera, the final piece went up, and the structure is complete. Please like and subscribe to follow the rest of my projects.